I hate to say it, truth be told, but I'm beginning to think that uh, highly Zenova. Uh, I should mention. Um, I thought it interesting uh, about the. Um, you see, typical politics, and this is something which I think you're well aware of, is the fact that um, you know, in every party, the bulk of uh, the bulk of issues often seem to relate to the character of the person in power, or the. Uh, I mean, of course, competence is one thing, but it does seem that a lot of ad hominem attacks do seem to. Um, you know, it does seem that a lot of ad hominem attacks get thrown around. Um, by various different political part, uh, pol politicians or what have you, and the people lap it up as you know, as, as you know, when d deciding who to vote for. You know, it's all about ideology. It's all about, well, okay, rephrase that. It's it's more so about you know, like the character of the person going in. When in reality, the bulk of it should be, what are your approaches to the issues, and how are you actually going to do that? Um, you know, but. Like I said, I mean, I, all that I noticed amongst even your mock debate there with the interns, and much like Hillary and Obama do, seems to be a lot of ad hominem attacks, um, uh, accusations about their past. You know, there seems to be a lot of character slandering of the opposite uh, people for president, and not enough about what their actual own issues are. Now, the thing is, if people just simply approached based on, here are the issues and here's my approach to it, and we started debunking based on approaches or what have you, or based on, you know, feasibility of how they'd be able to pull it off, then we might have something to work with. But part of the reason that probably the bulk of American people, and I know in Canada we have a, a huge percentage of people who don't vote, is largely because of the fact that these um, that uh, the debates often seem to be on character slandering. Last pre uh, prime ministerial election in Canada, Jack Layton, uh, head of the NDP, was one of the only ones who said, "Can we try to focus on the issues?" That was a two sentence. Uh, that was like it was basically twice. He actually tried to get people to focus on the issues. For the bulk of it, he stayed silent because they all shut him up. Well, uh, the four major parties—the Liberals, the NDP, uh, sorry, the the Liberals, the Conservatives, the Bloc Québécois, and uh, I don't know if it was the Green Party. I think it was the top three or four parties were all just uh, slandering each other. And the NDP in the background was trying to say, "Hey, can we focus on the issues here?" You know. Um, I suspect the same thing's happening with the American elections. Anyway, um, I'd like to say that I don't really think it's going to matter one way or the other uh, which presidential candidate gets in for the Democrats or even for the Republicans, because if my suspicions are correct, the heads at Halliburton, um, you know, the people who control the uh, much of the America's uh, arms industrial complex and uh, or, or or the corporate interests, much of the corporate interest. Um, you know, oil, you know, that sort of thing, and people, or, or even Walmart, you know, like, like the, the companies that use uh, foreign labor and, you know, are trying to sit pretty in their own position and don't really want to invest much in, uh, you know, in, in longer term solutions. Again, you know, i.e., the short sighted corporate heads. I suspect that a large chunk of them are going to uh, try to uh, just get whoever is whoever uh, their good boys are, i.e., either Bush or the Republican Party, back in for it yet again, uh, regardless of how unpopular they are with the public. They're going to try to get them back in again uh, just to make sure that uh, they can uh, keep uh, their system going on business as usual for a long time. Now, anyway, um, like I said, watch my um, videos, the Hitchhiker's blog, to get further ideas as to how um, what I suspect is going on with that.